Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 4. Today we are in the 10th episode of the series and we have Priyanshu here with us who has been recently placed at Wells Fargo as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all the students belonging to computer science and circuit branches were eligible provided they had a 80% or an 8 CGPA in their 10th and 12th and a 90% or a 9 CGPA in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Priyanshu and understand his experience interviewing for Wells Fargo. Hi Priyanshu, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. So I'm Priyanshu and I'm a fourth year student at VIT Chennai pursuing B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering. Okay. I'm a full stack web developer and enthusiast when it comes to cloud computing. Mm -hmm. So apart from tech, I'm also interested in entrepreneurship and I keep tabs on what is going on in the world of startups. And I also occasionally write blogs on uh, entrepreneurship on my Medium page. Oh, okay. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Right, so we had our online assessment uh, as the first round and after which uh, the shortlisted candidates were uh, supposed to give the two rounds of interview, right. the technical interview round and the senior management round. Hmm. So the online assessment consisted of uh, questions based on aptitude like logical reasoning, verbal ability, quantitative aptitude and data interpretation hmm, okay. and there were also two programming questions which were like uh, easy level hmm. based on arrays or hash maps okay so around 1000 students were shortlisted for the uh, like uh, applied for the online assessment after which uh, in the evening i got to know that i was one among the 25 people okay who got shortlisted for the technical round hmm. so the next day itself we had to leave uh, for vat velour okay. uh, around 5 in the morning hmm. And after reaching there, uh, the interview round started. So the technical round, it was a one-on-one -on -one round with uh, the interviewer. And I was asked to introduce myself and uh, explain about my projects, past interview experience, uh, internship experience and uh, so on. Right. So, and some follow-up questions based on those projects and achievements. And then after that, we went on to some questions on Python and MySQL. So Python, it was mainly revolving around NumPy and Pandas libraries. Okay. And I was given a code snippet, uh, which I had to debug and explain the code, what it does. Hmm. Similarly for MySQL as well, uh, so some code snippets were given. Hmm. And those were like queries, like nested subqueries and uh, multiple joins. Right. And I was supposed to explain the code and uh, debug any errors if, if they exist. Hmm. Hmm. After that, we went on to some questions on ML. So pretty like basic level like uh, concepts of I mean, like types of uh, super learning and all those stuff. Hmm. And finally we were uh, asked a question on guesstimates. Okay. So we were given like uh, 5 to 10 minutes and uh, we had to crunch some numbers and come to a conclusion. Hmm. So that was my first technical round. Hmm. And after that uh, was the senior management round. So. From these 25 candidates, 11 candidates were shortlisted hmm. and uh, I, I was again one of them. So hmm. we started the tech, uh, senior management round with uh, the case study. Right. So there were like case study questions based on, uh, since I had interest in cloud computing, so they asked some questions on cloud computing Okay. and uh, some questions based on uh, SQL as well, again, uh, following the first round. Hmm. So like a table scheme has been given and they'll be asking some questions. So I had to give some queries which would uh, give the output they right. wanted. Okay. And then a uh, few questions like more sort of a rapid fire on Python syntax. Hmm. So after that, then a uh, few more questions on cloud and uh, that was a wrap on the second round. Okay. So after that, then uh, the results were announced that five people have been selected. Hmm. And uh, we had a conversation with the uh, interviewers and the uh, HR. So, okay. Yeah, that was the experience. Oh, okay. That's great. Congratulations again and thank you so much for sharing your experience. So, do you have anything that you'd like to share for your juniors or for other people who are trying to get into good placements? Anything that you learned from your experience? Yeah, so one thing is that uh, we should know each and every detail in a resume. Sometimes uh, while preparing for other technical aspects of the 
interview process we forget or we don't give that much importance to our resume hmm. so as i said in both my interview rounds uh, many questions were asked based on my resume so that is a, a important thing to have right. to have clarity on the resume hmm. and uh, the main thing is you know you should be confident enough to answer whatever questions come on the way hmm. even if you don't know some aspect of the question still try your best right the confidence if they notice that they that is a plus point right and apart from that as i said like uh, questions based on case studies and uh, which they asked for testing my analytical skills hmm. so things like i used to note down the the points which they would mention the questions right so i'm sure they notice such things as well how hmm. well hmm. we are able to interpret the question correct so that is one more thing and asking the clarifying questions uh after they done with the question you can ask any questions if you have any doubts right. so that uh, before you start your solution hmm apart from that this is like more during the interview but uh, i would say going through some cheat sheets uh, also helped me the day before the interview so i would prepare aptitude from uh, india bix it's a really good website and uh, cheat sheets were available on websites like geeks for geeks and uh, interview bit right. so that was really good hmm. apart from that it's uh, yeah just take it uh, calmly it's uh, one stepping stone so hmm. no need to be nervous during the interviews and uh, you'll do great okay thank you so much thank you so much for all your suggestions and for sharing your experience i'm sure it's going to help many people and yeah thank you for doing this yeah thank you for having me Thank you all for watching. If you did like this video, if you found this helpful, please do like, share and subscribe and all the best on your placements. Thank you all for watching.